All right, in this video, I have a pair of Adidas sneakers that some of you guys might not even knew existed yet. Uh, and we haven't seen a lot of them as of the point of this video, but this is a new model from Adidas right here. This is actually a skating sneaker, which is kind of crazy. But the reason why I feel like these have a lot of potential is because these are a collaboration with Jamal Smith, who's actually sponsored by Palace as well, which means that hype game of sneakers could come right over to Adidas side with uh, their skateboarding signature sneaker. So let's go ahead and get into this video a little conversation and also a little look at these sneakers right here. What's going on guys, Hess here. Hope you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. And if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button if you guys like the content. If you don't like the content, then you don't have to subscribe. Anyways, if you guys are trying to buy a pair of these, I will try to link them in the description when they come available again. I got my pair from Adidas and then they sold out pretty quick and I was actually surprised by that. Uh, but happy to see that because this is one of the uh, the new wave pairs of sneakers in the skating space. And it actually sounds like this is a retro pair from the 90s. So let's go ahead and get into some words from what Adidas says about the shoe. $100 for the Atomatic shoes, bold is back. Aesthetics are everything. In the late 90s, skateboarding was bold and the Atomatic matched the flair and innovation seen around the world's most iconic spots in skating. The relaunch of the Atomatic adds even more energy by partnering with Adidas skateboarding Jamal Smith to honor Philadelphia's contribution to skate history. Featuring tonal suede overlays, new book, three stripes, and fat laces that call back to Philly heritage, the Adamatic honors the original and adds more personality. The blackout midsole and classic gum outsole provide grip, wear, resistance, and cup sole board feel. Made in part with recycled content generated from product waste, cutting scraps and post-consumer household waste to avoid larger environmental impacts of producing virgin content. 25% of the components used to make the upper contain a minimum of 50% recycled content. So they're trying to be a little bit environmentally conscious as well. So these are the shoes and I gotta say, I really like the look of them. It definitely has like a DC sort of vibe uh, from the 90s. Like that's kind of like the skating vibe from back then anyway. And it's very, very substantial in the midsole and the outsole has such a crazy amount of stick to it. It's it's very, very sticky rubber. Now I'm not a skater per se, but I do have a skateboard. I mean, I build it from ground up and it's for my son and I have another one that I'm gonna build, a full Supreme deck. But anyway, maybe it should be a full Palace deck because Adidas and Palace have a partnership and obviously they create collaborations all the time. And then Jamal Smith being with Palace and Adidas as well. I feel like this could be a shoe that has a bunch of Palace collaborations that would do phenomenally well. It's a pretty nice looking sneaker overall. I do think that the three stripe branding is a little bit too out there. Maybe it's that 90s vibe because they were really trying to have an impact and you could see the three stripes from a mile away. Also the Adidas logo on the back is absolutely massive. So maybe skaters might not like that because it is so overpowered with branding. But I do like the fat laces on here, but the suede on the upper is pretty nice through the entire thing, especially on a $100 shoe. The tongue has an incredible amount of padding on it, similar to the Nike SB Dunks. If you didn't know, Nike SB stands for Nike Skateboarding. And so the Nike SB Dunks usually have fatter tongues like this on them as well. Uh, so it's very, very thick padding here, very thick padding around the collar. And I like that the toe cap swoops up a little bit here for extra guard, as well as on the heel. Gum sole traction on the outsole, again, very, very nice and sticky. And overall, I could see this being a very nice skate shoe for somebody looking. Leave a comment in the comment section though if you guys try these for skating or not. Is it a shoe that you plan on casualing? I tried to find images of the original Adimatics, but I honestly couldn't find any of them. So it was a little bit difficult to understand if this is like a reinvented version of the older one or if it's like true to the form just with a new colorway. I couldn't really figure out those steps. Fill in the blanks in the comment section if you guys have a better understanding. But I feel like this is a shoe that definitely is very skate centric. You can wear this one casually as well. Just a standard shoe for walking around. It's not a comfort shoe by any means. Obviously this serves a big purpose here with the sticky rubber and whatnot. But this could be a shoe for biking as well. Skating shoes and biking shoes kind of go hand in hand. When I was a kid I had Vans and I loved having the pedal grip on the Vans but I also use a skateboard and skateboarded to school and stuff. But anyway leave a comment let me know what you guys think about this and the potential collaborations in the future. If, if Adidas plays their cards right they could really take a stab at the collaboration front. This is a pretty nice basic looking model that they could do some really cool uh, colorways on and again if they do it right they don't over mass produce things and they kind of make some hype generated around it with palace and whatnot i feel like they could actually do some really really cool things in the space but leave a comment let me know what you guys think about adidas entering or re-entering the skate market into something you're interested in or not um, i'm curious to see where it lands and where it kind of plays out it'll be fun to see if they get other skaters involved in and other shops. But that's a quick look at the shoe, not a skating perspective, obviously just a casual and overall, it's not a comfortable shoe, but I could see it being a shoe for bikes and stuff and, and for skaters and something that people would really like. Uh, anyway, if you guys wanna buy a pair, again, I'll link them in the description. Hopefully you can find a pair. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hopefully we'll see you back 
on the channel for some more content soon. All right, peace, guys.